everyone. My name is Elizabeth Paziadlo and I'm the opera singing chef. And today I'm in the Pace Kitchens and I have a feast I'm going to prepare for you. It's going to be a German feast with Vienna flair. And to accompany this, we're going to do a little bit of an opera from Mozart called The Marriage of Figaro. I'm going to be playing the character Cherubino and I will be accompanied today by John Danke, my accompanist here today. And I would like to start today's segment by telling you we're going to do a beautiful old recipe that my mother used to make called beef rouladen. Very simple but very comforting, perfect food for a feast. And at the same time, I'm going, I'd like to sing for you one of the songs Cherubino from the Marriage of Figaro sings. He sings, um, Voi che sapete. Voi che sapete means look into my heart, ladies, and see if this feeling that I'm feeling is love because at one minute I'm hot and one minute I'm cold and I'm so confused. Cherubino, of course, is a boy role sung by a soprano, a mezzo-soprano typically, and he's prepubescent, so he's very confused. So we'll start off with a little of that, eh, John? to my ears. Well, we better get started cooking here. Now, this is a recipe, beef fouladen, that my mother made when I was little. And the only hard part about the beef fouladen is actually lacing them up with string because it's a beef roll. And that's the tricky part. Now, when I was growing up, my mother never used uh, butcher twine. She would use thread, but I found this nice big bolt of butcher twine and it works really good for me. So what we've got here is we've got a package of beef round top steak cut really thin, okay, thinly if you will. And we're going to put this out here on the board, okay. I'm wearing gloves because my sink is not very close. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna take a little salt and pepper and we're gonna first cover this meat with a little bit of salt and pepper like so. You wanna put this on first and what's gonna happen is we're going to um, pound this salt and pepper right into the meat, giving it as much flavor potential as we can. And also the salt will act as a uh, tenderizer. 
So I got my knife here. We got a great knife. I'm going to do some pounding. La, li, la, la. So this is really a great way to take out your frustrations. Now, it depends on how sharp your teeth are. If your teeth are really sharp, pound it a little. If they're dull, pound it a lot. You could also turn it over. You could also ask your butcher to do this for you. They have a tenderizer. That would be the way to go if you ask me. Okay, now, very simple. You just did mostly the hard part. Now we're gonna take a dill pickle, not a sweet pickle, a dill pickle. We're gonna put it on each one of these rolls, just like so. And if this is too much meat for you, you could actually cut this roll in half, but it gets a little tricky when you're cutting it in half, because then it's a smaller roll to try to tie up. Then I took an onion and I quartered my onion in several little pieces like so. And I just put my onion in there like this. It's kind of like a hamburger. You got your pickle, your onion, you know, just no cheese, you know, and we're gonna stew this. We're gonna actually stew this. Okay, now a little strip of bacon. I've cut my bacon in about three inch pieces. A Little bit of fat won't hurt anything. We're gonna put this in like so. And now we're gonna get ready and tie this up. Now let's see here. Oh dear, uh-oh. Jenny, Jenny. I'm in, oh, Hello, Jenny. Chef Elizabeth. Uh, you're a weaver, right? I'd love to do this. Would you help me? I would be happy to. Y it's a good idea when you're cooking to kind of lay them out. So I want to thank you so much for having me in well, your kitchen. Well, this is such a treat. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Makes I... me want to see Figaro again. Well, now, yeah, it says and it would be very good. I, uh, first of all, this is incredible. You are not only an opera singing chef, but you are an author. Oh, go on. No, I'm teacher. You're a teacher and... <laughs> Um, mother and wife, of course, should, be, should have been mentioned first. <laughs> and uh, it's so impressive. And I'm so happy that you could be here today. And I get to see you make this, which yes, is one of my favorite dishes. Make and taste. Well, as you can see, I've laid the bacon and the pickle and the onion right in there. And I'm going to curl it around. And then you take those through the string. I cut it at about two feet. So I'm rolling it up like so. Okay. I did the winded first, okay? It's a big sucker there. Yes, this there. is big. This is a manly portion. I put it over the top, and this is where the camera above us, they really set the studio up beautifully for me. Look at the back. Isn't it pretty? Those are all <laughs> Jenny's aprons. Thank you, Jenny. Anyway, I'm going to go around once, and I'm going to go around twice, and I'm coming up the back, and then I tie it, okay? Oh, it's like a beef um, roast. It's well, like it's roast. like a roast, you know, and this is one time you cannot ask your butcher to do this, right? Yeah. The good news is, Jenny, I get to do this four times so I can get it right. So we'll set that down yeah. like so. Let's do this one. I know I'll get this one better. These are just dill pickles? Dill pickle, salt and pepper, beef, onion, you know, hold the pickle and all that. Hold the lettuce and we won't go any further or get in trouble with that song, eh? But this is a very simple dish. I always thought rouladen was very complicated. It isn't. It is simple. But I'll tell you, some German people, my mother was German, will actually coat the rouladen with mustard. And I met mm. this woman. I had done a party. And she said, well, I owned a German restaurant. And your taste just like mine. Did you put mustard on it? And I didn't. And I'll tell you, the trick is the slow cooking and browning. Okay? Oh, Thank I see. you. Okay, so I've got one more to tie. So I'm going over the top. I've got a little string here. Going over the top, this is really important. Coming around again, and then I'm coming back this way. Now, the meat actually kind of holds the string in place, which is good because then it won't slip off too badly. And you just want to hold it together for the beginning of the cooking. So no toothpicks? Yeah, I, you can do toothpicks if you're more comfortable, but I think this is the way. Yeah. And my mother used to do this with thread, Jenny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our stove. we got our grand range here. Don't you love it? And actually, and I, I have to admit something, Jenny, you know, when I teach and bring my ingredients, I have to bring like 300 things, and I forgot the butter. <laughs> but you used the bacon. I used the bacon. That's and the right. the bacon so, has plenty of grease. Now, how does the bacon uh, get crispy inside? Is it doesn't. It, okay. The bacon will not get crispy. This is not. Flavor. We're not yeah, it's the flavor. flavor. Yes, yeah. so we got yeah. the flavor and salt and the pepper and the pickle. Okay, and I did. I took a piece of bacon because I didn't have any. Smells butter delicious. and I let the bacon render but I would use a little butter and I would not use margarine I'm not a fan of margarine and nor should you be and we can talk about that some other time right. did you say oil sometimes uh, I would stick to butter All right. yeah All I mean right. this is not a thin dish we've got bacon in here and beef so add the butter this is a special dish and you hear that sizzle? Lovely. Isn't Absolutely that gorgeous? Lovely. And the whole studio, I mean, the, all this, the staff behind the cameras, and they're going, oh, my they're gosh. Drooling. Yeah. They're drooling. <laughs> okay, so actually what we're going to do is we're going to leave the lid off because we want this to brown, right. okay? I'm going to let you brown. Yes, gonna, thank you so much. Right. And I'll call you all later right. when we get time know. for doing other stuff, okay? All right.
Well, listen, there's another song I want to talk to you all about. And remember, Cherubino, Cherubino is the page. He's, he's, he works for the Count. And Cherubino it has a real sweet place for the Countess. And he is, again, in this place where he's very, very confused. And he wants to sing of his love to the Countess. And uh, so um, she's very, thinks it's very sweet that he has this crush on her, but the Count is not amused. And actually, the Count ends up making him join the military. He, gets, he makes him an officer just to get rid of him. But he's not so easily gotten rid of. But he's not even the main character. He's just the part that I sing, the mezzo role, the pants role, if you will. Now, you hear the sizzle. What we want to have happen with this meat is we want to keep it turning. And if you had a little butter in your dish, it would be golden and brown and easily. Mine is doing okay. Thank goodness we had enough bacon in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I don't, I'm going to see if you can see that a little bit, but you can see that it's really browning lovely. I'm going to turn my jet fuel down, cooking with jet fuel here. And I'm not putting the lid on because I want it to brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this off. We're going to let this brown. I'm going to sing you a song and we'll come back. Actually, before I do, I think what we really need to do, this is more important, is we're going to actually pretend that we've browned this for time's sake. We're going to add a little water. This is what you would do. Listen to this. And suddenly it became quiet. And what you want to do is you want to brown your rolls all the way around. That's the ideal thing, okay? And then you're going to pour water in. No beef broth. You don't need it. You're going to have just water with your beef. What a concept in this age when everyone wants the ready-made stock. But you won't need it. And we're going to let this cook. Remember, we browned it all the way around. We're going to let it cook for over an hour. So I better sing very slowly because this is a 25 or 27-minute show, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so we'll let this cook. And while we're letting this cook, I'm going to take off my gloves, and I'm going to sing you a little Non so più cosa son con so faccio with my beautiful accompanist, John Danke, the most talented pianist I know. So, all right. So I'll step over here and sing for you. Non so più cosa son con so faccio O di fuoco da rosa o di nacio O di donna che giardi colore O di donna mi fa papita O di donna mi fa palpita O di donna mi fa palpita Sulla in nord di l'amor di l'atto Mi si torma mi sa di rapetto Thank you. 
Well, that was a clip clopping song to get us going. And like the magic of television, and they say never to say that on television anymore, but look what happened. My pan grew. That's because of our amazing staff here. They've set me up. My pan grew, and I've got the roulade. And not only did the pan grow, but the amount of roulades grew. Isn't that funny? Okay. So what we've got here is we've got this beautiful pan full of the beef roulade, and, and what we're going to do is we want to dish those out of there. Why? There are strings on them. So we've got to pull them out of here pretty quickly. Luckily, I did remove some strings earlier, but there are two that I left with the strings on. And now these are really hot, and typically what you'd want to do is you would want to um, let them cool before you put the string, take the strings off, but you know, we like torture here at Pace TV. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna call in a volunteer. You know, one who doesn't really know it's really hot. I'm just kidding. Uh, Jenny, oh Jenny, I heard you. <laughs> I know yeah. I could put these gloves. No, no, you don't want those things. Get those out of there. Can I use okay. scissors? Uh, you know, I'll tell you what. The best thing to do, Jenny, is you grab it by the one side. By the tail. Yeah, well, I'll do this one because the other one looks easier. <laughs> you right. see like so? Yeah. But they're going to come right off. It is hot. All right. But see, there's a loop there, and you just kind of go like so. And the, guess yeah. what happens? The weaver. You see that? Oh, my gosh. All right, that's Amazing. yours. Good luck on this. Now, oh, I would get a close-up here. This oh has got to be good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's magic. It's is magic. It? it sort of just comes off by itself. Yes. Yeah, see, you don't need Look the scissors. Look at that. Yes. It's alive. Yes. And we Excellent. put it over... Here? You could use this for one of your creations, oh, a meat roll cat's string. Cat's cradle. <laughs> <laughs> Where Lady Gaga might be able to floss with it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here, I'll take that. All right. Sorry. Okay. So we'll uh, put that down. Nice. Now, Those look, are beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? And it just gets better from here. Now, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to get a little more messy here done. This is going to be about five minutes, maybe less, for you to come back and you right. taste the final product. Oh, okay? this is giving me ideas. All I right. right. Now, you have uh, just, the, just, the, the, just the broth. And this it's is brown. the water, it's and it's totally brown. totally brown. Yes. Oh, my gosh, yes, that's good. That's because I browned the beef rolls, and it left a nice residue. Fantastic. Okay, let's, let me show what I'm going to go ahead and take care of this, and you go on now. I'll, right. I'll call you when I'm ready All there, Jenny. Right. <laughs> she let me take over her kitchen. Okay. So now I'm going to take the flour. I'm going to put a little flour. Ah, I don't want to go too much because it'll get too thick. Always go too little instead of too much. If you put too much, it's going to be thick. You won't be able to re-go back. Flour, milk, just a little. We're going to make a little paste here. Now, some people do this with butter and they make a roux. My mother never did that. She never did that. She just took a little bowl and she would just keep adding milk and flour. And there are no lumps in here. And you know what you say, the person who gets the lump gets the kiss, right? Right. Now, we're going to pour this thickening mixture into this pot pan. You want to make sure it's boiling. If it's not boiling, your, your flour won't bloom. It's going to bloom and thicken. So we'll just pour that in there. Look, it looks like real gravy, doesn't it? Well, it better. Okay. At this point, you might want to taste it to make sure you've got enough salt in there. And then you would season it with your salt, okay? And what we're going to do here now is we could bring those potatoes and green beans onto the table. And we're going to dole this out. And, but first, before we do that, I'm going to put these meat rolls. Thank you, John. And I'm going to set these right back. I, I'm surrounded by John's. i got John on the piano and John helping me in my kitchen here. Thank you, John. Perfect. Beautiful. Hey, are you, do you hire out? No, I'm just kidding. All right. So we're going to put these meat rolls in here. It is thickening up beautifully. We're coating our meat with this. If you like your gravy a little thicker, yes, by gosh, you could add a little more flour. That's completely up to you. And I'll tell you what, this is looking pretty awesome. But I kind of do think my flour is a little too thin. So right here on television, I'm going to admit to the mistake. And I'm going to take my bowl. I'm going to add a little more flour, just a little more. I'm going to add just a little more milk because I don't want to make it too thin. It it'll, it'll, won't get thick enough. And we're going to add this flour. See, it's a paste. Perfect. Elmer's glue. No, don't use Elmer's glue. <laughs> okay. So today you're going to get a taste. You got a taste of a little Austrian music, if you will. Mozart wrote that. It's the Marriage of Figaro, but we sang it in Italian. We're going to get a little taste of a German roulade dish. So it's all German today. And I know it's funny, you know, German is the feast, German is Mozart, but he wrote it in Italian because that was the day, that was how you wrote those operas. You wrote them to what the public wanted to hear, and it wasn't legitimate if it wasn't in Italian. At least that's my story, as I'm sticking with it. All you opera experts out there, you be sure and email us here at Pace and let me know. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of green beans. Hey, Jenny. 
Dinner's almost ready here. I gotta feed Jenny. I gotta I feed can't the stuff. Wait. Oh, what have you got there? Wait. Oh, no, set it I have down. I'll stuff I'll... here because you gave me this inspiration, and I want to eat, but I also want to share. Share okay, something well, let's, with you. We've got a beautiful plate here. Let's oh, that's gorgeous. Take our roulades. Jenny, honey, will you pass me that spoon right in front yes. of there? We'll put a roulade right Thanks there for me. you, Jenny. Oh my! And I gosh. even thank goodness I remembered the silverware. Now, what we uh, this is like gravy. We're going to put this on the potatoes. This is gravy. Yes. And, and remember, if you get thing. a lump, you get a kiss. Do I get? Oh, is that right? <laughs> I never even knew that. A little gravy. Do I get to have a, a fork and knife? Yes, right over there. Oh, what boy. do you think about that? Now you know I just took classes on tasting food. Oh, and you're in your robe. What have you been up to? <laughs> well, taste first. We'll talk. All right. All right. Now this is this is so the tender. I, would, I can't believe it. Yeah, it's hot now. Be careful, sweetie. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you go half? Oh well, my gosh. Well, look at the pickle. You can look see the pickle this. and the, the bacon. The pickle and the bacon, mm -hmm. and the onion has just disappeared because yeah. it's uh, dissolved yeah. or whatever. There you go. Now the meat should be really tender. I mean, typically you want to cook this for about an hour. I'm gonna right. eat the part with the pickle. You're so lucky. Mm -hmm. How is it? Let me Yum. have a taste of that. Let's see. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more salt, but not that. I was going to say a little more salt, but <laughs> not much. Never say that to a chef anymore. <laughs> Especially on television. That's like me telling John, I don't like the way you play, and then what happens is he raises it up another step. <laughs> no, that is delicious. Well, now tell me, tell me. Let me get All this right. out of the way. This is our beautiful dinner, and we're going to feed the staff. Oh, well, let's move this out of the way. Are very I wanna, lucky. I mean, she comes on the show in her robe. Now, let me tell you, this is a, quite a show, isn't it? Well, you've inspired me because this is one of the simple pleasures of life is cooking it is. and eating it simple is. foods that are fresh. And even though you've had to cook them for an hour, it was very simple. Yeah, I didn't make. have to stand over it, no. And yeah. it sort of reminded me about some of the simple pleasures that I enjoy. And so mine has a recipe also, and it's so easy, oh, you let's won't have it. believe it. The, this is the um, Epsom salts that cost about three dollars for for a huge container, like milk container. So it's about. Uh, this is going to be a salty dish, eh? Could be <laughs> very salty dish. So you take these. So it's like seventy-five cents for one of these, and this could be a gift for somebody. Pour it into a bowl. You pull, pour your bowl over here so they can see yes, it right good, there. Good, there good, good. Go. And then out of my basket, I pull out pull out the essence of this one. I chose is lavender. Oh. And all this is going to be I a do. lavender dish it with is. salt. Wow. Oh, they do <laughs> use lavender in cooking, yes, don't they? Yes, they do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. So it does, this is this will last 15 so years. So this just came off of our discussion the other day about simple pleasures and how you, there are so many things in life that we do that don't require a lot of money or a lot That's of right. time. That's right. And yours is and bathing, yet, I assume, and it's a good thing, too. I'm going to tell you <laughs> in a minute. It's good. <laughs> okay, now here's a green, uh, I think this one's green coloring. And one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can add as much as you want. I like a lot of colors, so I'm going to do this. And then you mush it around. She's mushing, she's mushing, she's mushing. And magically, it becomes. Oh, it's pretty. It just looks like just the kind you buy. Yeah. And what do those cost, right? So then yeah. you put oh. it in a little. I did three colors here. That I have purple, white, and green. And you put a little bow on it, put it into a glass container. And then you drink this? And you can use, oh, <laughs> I would not. No, I don't. Uh, what is it, Jenny? Cup. Tell them what it this is. This is bath salts. This is all bath salts are when you buy bath salts. They're half a cup in the bathtub, and it's essentially a, a nice, relaxing time. And I love bath. Bath. And it ties right in with German because Germans like to bathe. Oh, they do. So it's good. The Baden Baden. Yeah, there Baden, you go. There you go. Yeah. This yeah. was awesome. Well, you know, it would be really nice if we got some of our viewers to send us in some of their ideas with, uh, oh, that's you know, a great idea. yeah, because then we could offer a simple pleasure. I mean, this is something you give as a holiday gift or a birthday right. present. And, right. I mean, that's just saying you love someone. You made it yourself. Exactly. And uh, so tell you what, you guys, if you think of something simple, like like I like to do a craft, some kind of craft. It doesn't have to be all cooking or maybe it's some herbs you grow and dry or anything, but a simple thing that requires not too right. many ingredients. Share and, with and us. And it's cheap. It's and usually they're very, very inexpensive. Simple pleasure. And, and doesn't have to be Martha Stewart quality. I mean, it can be. Although simple we love like her, this. we yes, do. Yes, love yes, yes. So know. we've got an amazing beef roulades with green beans and mashed potatoes. We've got a lavender scented bath. What an interesting show! That's Opera, right. food, and simple love it. pleasures. I love it. Thanks Thank you for having so me, much Jenny. for coming. It's just been wow. lovely. Thank you. I just loved your beautiful music today. Thank you. It was and a we, real treat for me too. Oh my goodness, I really enjoyed it. All right.
Well, listen, we're going to feed the cast here. I mean, they are starving, and we got plenty of meat rolls. So we wish you could join us, but we love that you're here. So come back. We're going to do a whole new opera with a whole new different menu. Oh, boy. Yeah. I can't wait. I know. It's going to be awesome. And you can uh, uh, also take baths after your uh, eating. Done. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's right. That. <laughs> we'll smell good and be full. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's serve, let's that. serve, let's serve some plates. All right. We have. Um, John's going to bring up there, some John. plates. We've got silverware. We do it right here at Hayes Kitchens. Oh, that's lovely. I think I better get my bath salts out of here. It smells too much. Oh, like it's not lovely. Foodish. Thank you for sharing your simple pleasure. Here we go. Mmm. Delicious little bit of potato. A little bit of green beans, fantastic. All right, can I serve? You can, um, yeah. Let me give you a little silver here. I'll be over here. here serving the roulade. Now, the Germans, uh, do you know German? Yeah, ich weiß, oh, uh, ich spreche gosh. ein bisschen, and ein not so bisschen. good, <laughs> nicht yeah. so good. Well, ich Aber meine Mutter war Jer German, war oh, Deutsch, yeah. Deutsch. So I don't speak German very well, ah. no, anyone will tell you. I, Where's our bowl? We have a spoon, I'm missing my spoon. Oh, the big spoon's over here. Oh, good. I, um, my mother, I, I lived in Switzerland for four years, so I spoke German in, uh, in a little bit of a Swiss accent. You know, ah. the Swiss German. Ah. Is that what you want? Thank you, Jenny. All right. Okay, how many cows do we have? We have about 10 uh, out there. Yes, we do, and it's some upstairs, so it's going oh, to be, yeah. uh, Well, this, this is just a, a, a one of many oh, segments lovely. that we plan to film. We're going to do, you know, all kinds, maybe a Valentine segment kind of keep them around the holidays and right. Valentine's is such an important holiday. Now did you t give the website that you're... Well we're working on that All website right. and uh, I think by the time we're done it'll be posted right on the bottom of this picture. Great, great. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway thank you very much for being with us here today. Try the recipe. You'll find the recipe at the website and uh, we'd love to know what's your simple pleasure. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.